we go. Hello and welcome to Meet the Member. Today it's a great pleasure to be joined by Neil Gardner, who is Managing Director at Ladbrook Audio. I'd love to know, first of all, what do you do? What is your line of work? Hi, uh, lovely to be here. And um, yeah, what do I do? Uh, I run a company that produces audio books. We're a third party outside or outsourced studio facility, also full production house. And we work for uh, pretty much all the main publishers, Audible, PRH, uh, Harper, uh, Little Brown, or most of the Hachette group. Um, and we have two studios based in Croydon. And then we have a staff of freelancers who do the editing and proofing. And I kind of sit across everything as the owner of the company, but I also uh, run one of the studios on a day-to-day -day basis, or before lockdown I did anyway. Uh, and I also sit across every title's um, mastering, uh, retakes, fixing, and final delivery to make sure everything we do is up to a certain standard. Uh, and occasionally I narrate as well, if oh, wow. to use my voice. <laughs> Brilliant. And how did you get into this line of work? Uh, well, I was always a child of radio. I grew up listening to things like Kenny Everett and Hitchhiker's Guide. So I always wanted to be a radio presenter, which is what I did originally. I was a local radio and then national radio presenter. But at the back of my mind, I always wanted to work in management and production, much more than being the voice, kind of like being the kingmaker, not the king. Um, so I very quickly got into management in local radio and then moved my way up into some national radio and then some international radio. And then from that got uh, picked to run some uh, production studios, uh, initially for the government, in fact, for the Foreign Office, which was fascinating, multilingual work. And then got poached from there after a couple of years by the original Labrook Productions. Uh, which was the UK's first ever independent radio production company wow. back in 1975, believe it or not. And they grabbed me in 99 and I worked there for about 10 years until I bought the company and slowly moved away from radio and moved into audiobooks as a, a much nicer, uh, slightly more profitable <laughs> business venture than trying to make independent productions for the BBC, who are lovely, uh, but notoriously quite uh, cheap, shall we say, sometimes. <laughs> So quite a change. And why did you join Book Machine? What, what drew you to Book Machine? Uh, initially, it was I was invited by, uh, by another, another Laura, in fact. Um, I think it was a Laura, was it? No, Louise? it wasn't. It's Louise. I think it's Louise. <laughs> Sorry, yes, it was Louise who invited me to write uh, an article, uh, kind of like a, a guide to being a studio on behalf of publishers uh, I think it was called my my publishers and other animals or something like that um, and it was fascinating to sort of I've not come across book machine before because being slightly to the side of the publishing industry um, as a service provider rather than a publisher directly uh, I'd not really come across it and it, it was a really interesting exciting introduction to everything you do so I've kind of been lurking in the background watching and every now and again wishing I could get involved and uh, come along to events and then just earlier in this year I just thought you know what right now when we're all reaching out and trying to build communities between everything we do and the rest of the audio community and what you do it felt like now is the time to become a member and, and you know put the two pennies worth in amazing and, and so, get it out as well <laughs> <laughs> so pleased you did um, and lastly I'd love to know what you're working on and what it is about it that excites you so what's happening now what's ahead well excitingly during lockdown our clients have been amazing. The, the, the publishers have gone through such a difficult time, but they've really done their best to make sure the studios like us, uh, whilst we've had to close the studios, still have work. So we're doing a lot of home recording work with some amazing narrators, both new and experienced. Uh, we're doing a lot of work on classics for uh, PRH at the moment, some really exciting classics, which I know we're not allowed to say the titles of yet, but um, you know, they're ones you all know and you're going to love them. They are amazing. Uh, we're also working on a couple of very exciting new uh, multi-title projects again with Penguin Random House um, and with Audible at the same time so it's almost like I don't have enough hours in the day I can't remember what it was like having to go into a studio and then come home and still do all the business how things. did you get how did you actually yeah. manage and I'm not looking forward to it I'm suddenly thinking oh my evenings and weekends are going to be even more hectic once we do start using the studio again so <laughs> Thing, how well, you like, reframe. <laughs> yeah, you reframe your life and then you realize that what was isn't going to work yeah it's been really really exciting the way the publishers and the clients have reached out to make sure we're safe first of all that our freelancers and all of us have got some work it, it may not necessarily always be as much as we used to have uh, but in some cases it is more but it's meant that particularly for us and i know a few of the other studios i work with 
everyone's been able to keep going in some capacity. Um, and the books are still coming out and audio books have become such an important resource for the world at the moment alongside everything the publishing world traditionally does as well. It's been really exciting to be part of that and to do our bit to help back, to be able to say, well, yeah, let's see what we can do to get your product back out. You know, it doesn't need to, to, to be stuck in lockdown. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we can do it. We'll just find a new way to do it. And I think audio has really stepped up. It's been one of those industries that's been able to adjust quite quickly because so much of it is already done either location or at home uh, and the technology is already in place. So I'm sure someone's making a lot of money selling home recording kits. Right. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. And no, welcome to Boom Machine. Neil's quite a new member. It's great to have you as part of a community and hope we'll get to meet in person before too long. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure and congrats on everything you do and particularly during this lockdown period everything you've been doing to uh, just make sure the community stays coherent and together and, and loved and and, and exactly heard. So, brilliant work. you've got it spot on thank you very much